Michigan is only one way to handle this. It's by firing Jawan Howard. I'm sorry. The current Michigan head coach cannot coach another game for the Wolverines. Because you know why? It's not just what happened yesterday. Yesterday was bad in which you, you witnessed your head coach strike another assistant coach on the opposing team. That's really bad. But this is now a pattern that's been displayed by one of the leaders of your program, one of the leaders, frankly, of your university. Sports, as we know, especially college sports, have grown so much now to where a lot of the exposure, a lot of the free advertising, a lot of the reason why schools are well-known, yes, sure, academics, sure, other activities as well, but it's sports. Alabama's popular because the football team is dominant. Michigan, with their you know, well-renowned, uh, world-renowned sports, whether it's football, whether it's basketball, these coaches now become, you know, faces of the university, not just faces of the basketball program or the football team. They become faces of the university. And you can't, I'm sorry, if you're Michigan, have your head coach acting like that. Again, it's not the first time. So whether it's front-facing, right, whether it's in terms of giving your university as a whole a bad look, but also, too, if we look at it from the basketball perspective, if we look at it for how this incident impacts the Michigan team going forward, I think it hurts Michigan basketball. I think it makes recruiting a lot tougher now going forward to where you might not be getting all the kids you're getting right now. To where the Michigan basketball program might take a step back in part because of this incident and how recruits and families view Juwan Howard moving forward. So I think that's why Michigan has no choice. They got to let their guy go. You can't have Juwan Howard coaching another game for this team. Because yesterday was inexcusable. Yesterday was absolutely inexcusable. There is a lot of, I don't say a lot of takes, but people are out there, on Twitter especially, trying to, I don't want to say defend Juwan Howard, but basically make it seem like he wasn't in the wrong. Trying to put the blame on Greg Gard for whether it's calling a timeout with 15 seconds left when your team is up by 15 because he wanted to give his backups a, a chance to in ball, inbound the ball correctly. Whether it's Greg Gard, you know, touching Jawan Howard and kind of touching his arm to try to explain, hey, this is why I took the timeout. Don't be mad at me. But there's no excuse for what Jawan Howard did in terms of striking an opposing team's assistant. Because here's a news flash. Here's some breaking news for you. Jawan Howard yesterday was not the first head coach in college basketball history and sports history to be upset with an opposing coach. Last time I checked, that happens more times than not. Last time I checked, there are plenty of head coaches that are frustrated with how the opposing coach is handling the game win or loss. With how, you know, the opposing coach is talking to said coach win or loss. Competition is fierce. We know now, especially in college sports, with the money that is paid to coaches, with the money that's at stake for winning programs, winning means a ton. So tensions are high. I get that, right? There's a, there's a lot on the line with a lot of these games and for a lot of these coaches. But it's not a license to all of a sudden start trying to fight another coach if things don't go your way, if you are upset. Right? Like, again, last time I checked, plenty of coaches have been upset. But guess what? Why do you think we never see what we saw yesterday in terms of a head coach striking another coach? Because they have restrained themselves. You get paid as a head coach in part to be a leader. To be the calming voice when things get, you know, when, when stuff hits the fan. You are supposed to de-escalate situations like this. To have your team, you know, protected. To have your university protected. And instead, you had your head coach, if you're in Michigan, take a situation, pour gasoline on top of the situation, light the match, and throw it on. That's exactly what he did. Because we can talk about it, exactly what happened, right? Where Juwan Howard gets upset that Greg Gard touched him, points in his face, starts cursing him out on the handshake line before being eventually restrained by a few assistants. Fine. No harm, no foul. You're upset, you're tested, you feel like Greg Gard touched you, you're already pissed off, and now that sets you off. Fine. Up until that point, everything is okay. Nothing's really at no one's really at fault. Nothing's really happening. And then for Juwan Howard. As things are starting to de-escalate, to come back, take a swing at an assistant coach, it's inexcusable. 